Okay, we're looking at lesson number seven now. It's time to learn from what sources you can get weather information, such as weather charts and so on. Okay, let's join our instructor in the classroom and get started on this lesson. You know, as a commercial pilot, chances are pretty good you'll be carrying passengers for hire. And you'll be flying much greater distances than you were as a private pilot. So the weather, while it's important, is just that much more important right now. Let's take a look at some of the resources that are available to you as a commercial pilot. Weather services available to you as a commercial pilot. Take a look at these. Some of them you will remember. METARs. TIFs. Terminal forecasts. Stability of the atmosphere, or lack thereof. Aviation forecasts. Pilot reports, or PIREPs. Wind and temperature aloft. In-flight weather. Transcribed weather briefings. EFAS. Convective outlook forecasts. Surface analysis charts. Weather depiction charts. Radar summary charts. Constant pressure charts. Significant weather and composite moisture and stability information. A weather depiction chart is nothing more than a snapshot in time of the weather going on across a certain area of the country. And in this case, the weather depiction chart is simply a broad overview of flying category and conditions. VFR, MFR, which is marginal VFR, or IFR. Now, the legend identifies flight conditions the sky cover, the cloud height, and the visibility. And the first thing you want to look for is the key to deciphering this chart. And where do you find that key? Right down here. This is the key that allows you to understand all of this. So, here's the key. We'll go on into it. You can see shaded areas, well, they're IFR with ceilings less than 1,000 feet and or visibilities less than three miles. Now, if you see some contoured areas that are not shaded, you're looking at marginal VFR areas, all right? I'll back it out of the way here. And if you see areas on the map with no contours, it simply means VFR areas with ceilings greater than 3,000 feet and visibilities greater than five miles. Look for the key. All right, take a look at this. What is this again? It's all shaded in. It's going to be indicating an IFR area, ceilings less than 1,000 feet and or visibilities less than 3 miles. Here's another shot again. In this case, we're looking for areas that are enclosed but not shaded. So they're then marginal VFR areas with areas with ceilings greater than or equal to 1,000 feet to less than or equal to 3,000 feet and visibilities greater than or equal to 3 miles or five miles. See? It's easy. You get into the uh, wide open spaces, just exactly what it means. VFR flight, you have your visibilities here greater than 3,000 feet and five miles statute visibility. All right, right along this line, this also shows where the fronts are located. And in this case, we have a weak stationary front, right? Stationary weak, right along that line. Our frontal classifications one more time for you. There's the cold front. There's the warm front. There is the occluded front. And these two you may not have seen before. An upper level cold front, an upper level warm front, and a stationary front.